G'day guys, now we're into part 5 of our pixel controller enclosure build. We're up to the wiring section, so we're just going to do a quick video of uh, connecting the power supplies up to our differential boards. It's all pretty straightforward, no doubt everyone's seen it all before. So I thought I'd just film it in there. So, where we left off was we had our power supplies connected, oh, mounted to our baseboard. We've got two distribution boards. At the moment we don't need that in there so we can take him out. So obviously we're just going to be connecting our uh, 12 volts positives and our negatives to our distribution boards. Um, the cabling that I've decided to use is some old RC cabling I had around. It's a silicon coated. Um, I think it was from Hobby, Hobby King. Hobbyking.com. I was left over from the RC days, used to play around with. That's labelled as 10AWG, which is that'll be the size of it. Like I haven't measured it or anything like that, but it fits nicely into the inputs of the um, four string receiver boards. And I'll be using the just the crimp connectors, the four mil ones, to fit onto the studs. Outlet screws from the, the output screws from the um, power supplies. So it's all pretty straightforward. Um, I won't bore you with filming it, but I'll just uh, sort of give you a quick chat about the cabling I was using, the connectors, and the process. Um, I'll give you a, a quick shot of it when it's um, wired up. So as you can see, I've um, connected the positives and the negatives to each of the four string uh, differential receiver boards uh, one for each power supply nice and straightforward I just put a bit of a, uh, a standoff so to speak for a bit of strain relief for the cables going into the uh, four string boards there uh, so the next move will be to fit him in the box so you can sort of a bit of a look I have as I said mentioned earlier I've left some room if I do require a F8 our distribution board um, so that should fit into our box all okay and then we'll be able to see it fits in nicely nice and snug um, so a bit more of a delay up you can see it's going to be drawing air in and exhaling it to the fan for a bit better shot if you can see okay so obviously we're going to have our 240 volts coming in there and our pigtails going through our glandlets into each one of the out outputs and the lower two there are going to be for our data, data going to each one of the four strings um, unfortunately, I'm still waiting for the cable to turn up for them, so I don't think I'll be able to film it, but there's lots of videos around on how to to do that. Okay. Thanks for watching.